Hey, this is Blake again. Uh, it's been, a, I think, a little bit more than, well, around four days since I made the last video about the 27-inch iMac. And I just wanted to say thanks for all the um, ratings and comments that I got. And sorry I haven't been able to respond as quickly as I would have liked. But I'm making this video to um, kind of answer some questions and stuff that people had. So um, kind of clear some stuff up. First thing I want to do is another boot test between the 27 inch iMac and my 24 inch iMac. Um, I have it set up so that when they start up they will both auto log in to a newly created account and on login they will open up Adobe Photoshop, Dreamweaver and uh, Premiere Pro all CS4 with all updates and also Office 2008 Microsoft Word and Excel um, also with all updates so it should be a better comparison of booting time and time to open several programs so I'm gonna put the phone down and I'll start them both up so what while they're both coming on I just I didn't make it clear in the last video but the specs on both computers, the um, 27 is a 3.06 gigahertz Core 2 Duo with 4 gigs of 1067 um, DDR3 memory and the other, the 24 inch is 2.4 gigahertz Core 2 Duo, a little bit more than 2 years old. Um, it has also 4 gigabytes of 667 DDR2 memory. So that's why I was saying I wasn't sure why the 27 inch was slower because I don't know I really don't think it was a hardware problem um, anyhow you'll notice they're both booting up right now Premiere Pro will be the program that will take the longest to load still bouncing in the dock on the 27 while everything else is opened 24 pretty much the same scenario I'll let you know when they're both done. The Premiere Pro will come up to a screen asking you if you want to open an existing project or start a new project. There it is on the 27. The 24, there it is. So they're actually they're pretty close. I think the 27 was faster just by a little bit every step of the way and I think that's pretty much to be expected um, given the the specs being a little bit better so I think what finally made the difference was someone suggested I do a SMC and PRAM reset on the 27 and I did that and I also set the boot um, drive um, to be the Macintosh hard drive um, so that there was no confusion about maybe what it was looking for when it was booting up so um, did that seem to take care of an issue there um, could have, someone mentioned it could have been EFI firmware and that maybe in a couple years or whenever Apple released a EFI firmware update that that would change and they, they you know they might do that down the road but I, I don't think that was a problem so um, so there it is both of them done booting up. I um, wanted to comment a little bit more about the um, Magic Mouse people were asking. I have still been using it for a few days. It's, I think it's hard for me to get used to but still still giving it a chance. Um, with the Mighty Mouse I really miss being able to squeeze right here and also click right here to do um, expose and uh, spaces. With the Magic Mouse you can't there's no um, function right there if you squeeze and it does recognize left and right mouse click but there's not a third uh, button option that you can do on the top you can use it to scroll up and down or left and right and you can do the two finger swipes like this but I don't find that very easy to do I don't, I'm not not using that a whole lot so the tracking's alright um, one thing about the tracking is um, since the 27-inch screen has so much more uh, pixels, 
you'll I find myself picking up the mouse a lot to get it across the screen. Um, even with tracking turned up all the way and momentum turned on too, still find myself having to do that sometimes. So that can be uh, annoying. But I'm you know it looks nice. I I understand it's an you know more fancy technology, but can't promise that I won't eventually go back to to the Mighty Mouse, so we'll see. Uh, some people are asking if I could hook up a video game system like B, um, PS3 or Xbox 360 because the 27 inch features um, video in. I have both and I tried both with a HDMI to DVI converter and on the back of the iMac I have a DVI to mini display port. Could not get it to work. I tried several things and I read online and it just, I don't think it's working at this time and I think in order for it to work Apple would have to either release some sort of update or perhaps even a, like a hardware adapter in order for it to recognize um, other non-display port compatible devices. So, sorry. Um, people are asking to comment on the screen. Um, it's daylight right now. Got a window over here. You can see a bit of a reflection in the screen. I always had the 24 sitting right here. Isn't that big of a deal for me. I can see why some people might uh, might not like the glass, and I know that professionals prefer the the matte option, but. It's definitely not a deal breaker for me. I kind of like it in most situations. I think it makes the images on the screen look nicer, but again, I'm not a professional. I don't do video or audio stuff, or uh, sorry, video or, or photo stuff for a living, so I can't, can't say that uh, for sure. Someone asked about if I could notice any backlight bleeding. Um, can't really make a good video presentation of that, but what I did is I made the whole screen black and I noticed a little bit of backlight bleed in this area and in both of the bottom corners. Not a deal breaker. Uh, sorry about the squeaky chair. Uh, not a deal breaker and definitely not something that you could really notice unless you had an eye for that sort of thing. So wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, someone asked if I could open two windows in Safari side by side. You definitely can do that. I was um, really excited to be, to be able to. Could not do that on the old screen very well um, because of the higher, um, because of the lower resolution and the aspect ratio. It just wasn't um, as easy to do. Let's see if we can do it there anyway. Give it a try. So on the 27, I'll go to a couple web pages. CNN.com just did a redesign. Looks nice. Yahoo.com. Notice on both, you can see the every all the content that they have to offer, and there's room left on the sides, so that's nice. Let me try and do the same really quick over here. CNN and there's Yahoo you'll notice I have them pretty much maximized and you do have to scroll at the bottom to be able to see all the content same for Yahoo so that's that's you know I'm making the point there you'll be able to do that so um, that's pretty much it. Couldn't really do a very good um, speaker demonstration, so they'll just have to take my word for it. They're better. Uh, if you guys have any more questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Leave me a comment, and I will get back to you. All right. Thanks a lot.